Hey folks, today we're going to be looking at uh, run DLL errors at the startup of your computer. If you are getting errors once you reboot your computer and it's bugging you or whatnot and you just want to get rid of it, simply what that just means is you deleted a program but the registry is still there and it's trying to run that. Uh, without the actual executable file so it keeps giving you that error so what you want to do is do a deep clean uh, what I prefer is that when you guys delete you use this program it's called iobit uninstaller uh, it's a very thorough program as far as uninstalling a program it has an option of a powerful scan after you uninstall the program to go deep into the registry and delete files that still stay on your computer so once you uninstall you just check one you can check multiple at once then click uninstall and uh, yeah go through it you can do a powerful scan for each program you uninstall and you are able to delete files that don't usually work with this right here all right so first step what you want to do is keep the window open i've already gone in and deleted it and now it no longer pops up so that's how you know it, it's working what you want to do is press the the windows key and the r gives you this window you want to type in reg edit press enter give it access say yes After that, you are displayed with this page and you don't know what the heck you're looking at. Fairly simple. Just go to edit, click find. Now what you want to do is type in a full phrase of the keyboard in that error, the run DLL error. Let's say for me it was DivX plugin. If I were to type that in, I can just type in DivX find it will search through your whole registry and find everything that has the word so you can see it has the words divx in there and then you're gonna want to look for the exact one that the error shows up and you're just gonna click on the number and you're just gonna delete it easy as that close that out reboot your computer and it should fix that error you see another error then you do the same process you go in and you delete that registry uh, but I do strongly suggest that you use that iobit uninstaller it's a very powerful program as far as going deep into a program's registry and deleting files that you no longer need especially if you delete that program